Hey, Jalen. Seen a number of you guys, maybe everybody, I'm not sure, wearing the uh, your shirts today. Whose idea was it? Where did it come from? And just what's what went into it? Uh, came from the Players Association, um, led by Grant, Grant Williams. But as a collective, um, we wanted to come out and, and show our support um, for Brittany Griner. Um, she's been uh, over there for an extended amount of time, and um, we feel like enough is enough. Next question on the left. Chris Gasper, Boston Globe. Hey, Jalen, I wanted to ask you, um, in the playoffs in the fourth quarter, your effective field goal percentage is the highest of anybody in the league at this point at 76%. What is it about the fourth quarter in these playoff games that brings your game to another level? Uh, just trying to win, um, to be honest. I think that's the, that's the only thing that matters. Um, the only analytic or stat or breakdown that matters to me is is getting a W at the end of the night. So um, that's the only thing I'm focused on right now. Tim on the right. Tim Reynolds with the AP. Jalen, uh, two things. Uh, is the is your are you planning to wear the shirts kind of the rest of the way I mean, as long as you have this this platform for throughout the rest of the rest of this series? Uh, I'm not sure. Um, I'm not sure to be honest. Um, we uh, I guess we'll talk about it as a team, but uh, we felt like it was a good idea to use our availability and our platforms to to bring attention to you know certain matters. You know, and I always stand for that. Being an athlete, um, we're just not up here to just entertain um, you guys. We also have a voice, and um, I always appreciate and applaud athletes, entertainers, my teammates who plan to do something with that. So um, I'm not sure if we'll wear it for the rest of the time, but um, today was a good day to bring attention to a topic that was necessary. Tomorrow might be something else. Second thing I wanted to ask you, also kind of in, in your in your role as a union officer, you, you guys, the Celtics needed, I think, 29 players to get through this season because it was so bad in December and January with COVID. I think there were like 620 guys who got into the league this year, which is obviously way more than normal. I guess as a player and as a as a as a union official, just how appreciative are you for what those guys were able to do and keep the season going and keep the season on schedule? Uh I guess very. I mean, you know, obviously to play basketball during, you know, unprecedented times, you know, in the last two years has been tough on individuals, families, um, et cetera. Um, but I think that the, the NBA and the Players Association has done as, as good a job as possible to keep things going and uh, to accommodate, you know, everything as best they possibly can. You know, um, there's been ups and downs. It's been, you know, questions, things that haven't made sense. Um, but I, I still give credit where credit is due. I know that there's a, a bunch of people behind the scenes that are you know, trying to make everybody's job easier. So, you know, we can play basketball and, you know, people can enjoy watching this play safely uh, in, a, in an environment. So um, I tip my cap to both the NBA PA and the NBA, you know, for continuing the season, um, et cetera. Um, so that's it. Brian on the left. Jalen, um, how aware are you guys of how good Golden State has been in third quarters and how that's been a challenge for you guys going forward now? It's, it's one thing watching it on film and, and then going against it live and in person. Golden State is, you know, a generational team, especially their core group, you know, and they can score points in bunches and, and have a lot of offensive firepower. And our job is to try to slow it down and negate it. You know, uh, every possession matters. I miss the NBA Finals, so uh, we got to just go into it with the mindset that we got to put our best foot forward, and play some really good basketball if we plan to win any game. So um, I'm looking forward to the challenge. Um, I know our group is looking forward to the challenge as well. We haven't been consistently as great in the third quarter, but, you know, all the other quarters matter too. So we just got to come out and play basketball. And try to take away what they do best, yeah. which would be, we got our work cut out, but I believe in us. Couple more questions, next one on the left. Uh, Jalen, two of Al Horford's um, best playoff scoring games have come in this postseason in year 15. Um, what do you think about when you hear that? And what does that say about his longevity in the league? Um, just 
it says everything. Al has been waiting for this moment. He deserves this moment. He's earned this moment. He's been, you know, he's paid his dues. He's worked. He's been on winning organizations, winning teams. He adds to winning every time he steps out on the floor. He plays both sides of the ball. He's a team guy. Um, you can't give enough praise for a guy like Al Horford. So um, we're going to lean on him to, to have some more um, big performances in the next coming games. But um, if you're asking me, am I, am I proud of um, what I've seen throughout the journey that I've been with Al Horford? I am. And I, I'm even more so excited to see um, what's to come over these next few games. I'm excited for our entire group. But Al is a key, key ingredient in that. Final question on the right. Uh, we all saw the um, Marcus Smart video from the game saying this wasn't the Heat series. How much of an adjustment after the two super physical series in Milwaukee and, my, and, and Miami, how much of an adjustment was that at the beginning of the game for you guys? And, and what did it take for you to kind of like switch gears once you saw it live to, to turn the game around? Um, it's, a, it's a big adjustment. You know, like you said, going from one series to the next, that game one is important. Um, and so being able to transition in, in the first quarter, we it showed uh, we gave up a lot of open looks, had a lot of defensive breakdowns. Um, so we definitely got to be better in that area, in that regard, and, and, and we're looking forward to doing that. But especially like the travel, all of that stuff is included as well. So um, as the series goes on, you know, we get more comfortable, but also we got to understand they're going to get more comfortable as well. So um, we just got to be ready to play, you know, our best basketball and, and get ready for the challenge.